Okay, we're going to continue with Sean at Olight regarding some new weapons mount systems. So go ahead, Sean. Exactly. So uh, currently we have the PL12 that's out. Get you the logo there. So this is 450 lumens, and it's got solid light just from a quick press. You have momentary based on how long you hold it. If you hold it longer than a second. Depends on how you index it. Exactly. Okay. And then if you hit both sides, you go to stroke. Now, is that pressure dependent or just how long you hold the button? Just how long you hold the button. Okay. Yeah. So, good thing about it, too, is if you have shorter fingers or you'd rather press, you can press in the front, too, ah. or hit the side. Right. Because a lot in May I? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. A lot of times you, you don't want to have your finger out here. You know, there's a lot of, you know, there's certain uh, mechanisms of training where you don't want your finger up or up or up. You actually want it curved in there so you could have your finger indexed the tip of your finger index closer to the trigger guard to be able to come in and activate the trigger or press the trigger, but then also oops, didn't want to light anybody up there. But then doing it from a press, either pressing from the side or pressing from the rear. Nice feature, actually very nice feature. Yeah, and of exactly. course it's ambidextrous. Of course, yeah, has to be. Yeah, very good. So, um, what, what good battery thing, drives that? Uh, Sierra 123. Okay. You just unscrew the head and pop it out. So, good thing about it too, comes off super easy. And one thing we include is different mounts here. So, you see GL. So this will be this one's for a Glock. Uh, you can take this out and put a 1913 in there as well um, to get it a little bit more solid on the rail. So. We also have venting up here so that it doesn't get too hot because obviously your barrel is getting very hot. Reduce, and, reduce the heat load. Exactly, and the light is getting hot as well. So there's a lot going on up front. Um, so you know this will help out as well with these heat sinks. What's the so. typical run time on this uh, with with the battery? Uh, about and of course, that it may be dependent upon if it's rechargeable or lithium, etc. Yeah. So with a Sierra 123, you're looking at about an hour uh, run time if it's constant. Hopefully you're not walking around for an hour with your pistol light on. There's it's probably, usually, bigger problem, probably bigger problems going yeah, on. Yeah, it's usually, that. you know, you're going around, turn it off, turn it back on. So overall combined, you get about an hour run time on this. Now, does this strobe or anything else or is it strictly? It strobes, yeah. So if oh, you hit both strobe. sides, okay. you got a strobe. So oh, okay, very good. Probably making the camera go crazy here. <laughs> <laughs> about ready to uh, make me tone out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, so this is the one that's out right now. Um, so we're kind of going to complement the line here with our prototypes. So we have this one here. So this is the PL2. And so, this is prototype. Exactly. Okay. So here, PL2. And this one has two CR123s on each side. The reason why we need that is because this is 1300 lumens. Hmm. So you can have a Glock 19 with 1300 lumens connected to it. So which is huge. Um, I haven't seen anything that's been that high ever. It's huge out. It's um, huge light out. The output is insane, yeah. So, same exact mechanism, mechanism as that. So, you hold it, let go, hold it, let go, and then if you tap it, you're on constant. You hit both sides, you're on straight. Super simple. We don't want our lights to be complicated. Obviously, if you're using your light on your weapon, you're thinking about other things. Right. So, we want it to be something that you just do. Now, the you buttons on this are just a little larger than on your other model. Yeah, exactly. I think it is. But uh, other than that, same user interface operation. Same interface, exactly. Same mounting system as well. This With is a little bit beefier because this is a slightly heavier. But well, the quick detach still... mount is, is beautiful. You know, you don't have to get in there with a coin. You don't have to unscrew a knurled knob. You just pull yeah, the you're not pulling you're something down and sliding it right. on, and you don't have to worry about hurting the rail. Now, Sean, um, what's the reason for the larger button? Is there a specific reason for that? Um, really, we just made the whole design a little bit beefier. Okay. But here's one thing. Um, so we had a couple really big guys come by the booth. We're talking six foot five probably 250 300 pound guys big meaty hands big hands i mean their their hands were covering the whole gun and um they said to me and said hey you know we're really impressed by this because you have a much larger switch than most of the other stuff on the market and they really appreciated that okay so um you know that's something that really came to light uh being here in the booth yeah. um thank you yeah actually and I like the configure. I like the uh, styling, if you will, of that button. Um, yeah, it almost kind of wraps around a little bit. Yeah, it, so. it's, I, I, I personally prefer it. You know, uh, maybe on a on a compact or subcompact, maybe the um, the PL1 with or the button configuration is what I'm talking about. Might be a little nicer, a little more streamlined. 
but frankly, I I like that the texture, the, te the tactile sensation of the PL1 button is smoother and, and more streamlined perhaps, but I, I really, you know with gloves too, I think that this, you would get a better sensation. That's a big thing too, especially with gloves, law enforcement, I mean, yeah, you're gonna be wearing gloves a lot of the time. And even um, on pu and pushing from the rear, I, I I just, this is a little more, I, I like this. It, it, I, I personally, this is just a personal opinion, I, I prefer this, especially on a larger frame. Uh, yeah, the, the feedback's been really great. Um, we're impressed, you know, based on what everyone's been saying. And this saying, will strobe so. as well? Of okay. course. Yep. Very good. So, so uh, we have kind of your standard size right here. We have your larger size here. So where do we go from here? Your smaller size, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. We have small, medium, large. So this is our PL Mini, okay? Um, this will work perfectly on your subcompacts. Um, I wish we had a Glock 19 here, but if this was on a Glock 19, it would be flush with your barrel, um, which is nice so you don't have anything sticking out, especially if you're an appendix carry kind of guy. Um, you know, you well, don't the, have to. The width of this of this model is yeah. Appears if you to can me, get that on camera, it's it's wild. It's it's basically the same width. I'm gonna light it up with this. Yeah. No, no need. Um, so yeah, it's basically the same width, which is great. So inside the waistband, this is this is what you want. Um, still has the uh, the same mechanism as well. You can see here it's oversized because. We're big on making sure this doesn't fall off or get loose whatsoever. We test these things like crazy um, just to make sure that nothing will happen when you really need it the most. Um, so, same thing. Uh, you just hit it once real quick to uh, for constant. You can hold here. And then both sides for stroke. Well, Sean, what drives this, uh, this light device? Um, so basically we have an internal battery here, almost like a watch battery. The good thing about it though is you don't have to worry about that because it has our magnetic charging system. So if you're used to our everyday carry lights, you know about this from Olight. Um, so we have our charger here. It's magnetic. You just slap it onto the bottom of the light and then it's charging USB. And is there an indicator of charging full capacity, etc.? Yep. So uh, when you're charging, this will turn red, and then it will turn green when you're fully charged. Base right here. Yep. Okay. Right here. So, and when the light is starting to die, it'll dim down. It'll start to gradually dim. So, if the light isn't as bright as you're used to, you know that it's starting to die. That you need to plug it in. You slap that on. It'll turn red, green when you're ready to go. When it begins that dimming sequence, will you get a, a bit of a I don't want to say strobe, but a, a, a throbbing type of a, a, an appearance of light, or will it just simply start going dim? Yeah, it'll just start going dim. And the good thing about it is when you hit the switch, it's this one's charged, so it's hard to show you, but when you hit the switch, it'll actually show you the dimming. So oh, you'll well, know. So okay. you'll look at it and it'll, it'll be very obvious. Dimming. It's obvious. Yeah, we made sure that that happened. So, um, but this has definitely been a hit for the show. So we got the PL Mini there. So good thing about it is, you know, we want you to get our products for everything you have, right? So if you have a large, you know, home defense, uh, full size, like a Glock 17 here, then you get your larger light. You know, you can do this for, for a standard carry. You can get this for a compact. So, and if you noticed, all of the uh, interfaces and the way they work are exactly the same. Right. Because we don't want to throw a wrench into your system. We want you to be used to using this product. Well, muscle memory is so important with, these, exactly. with this type of equipment yeah. or this type of gear. Now, do you have another light here? Or exactly. is that new as well? Or? Yeah, okay. so here's a prototype as well. So this is the PL1 LX. So this is a green laser light. Um, and it'll be hard to show on camera, but basically, um, you know, you can hit it on, same thing, exact same thing. You can hold for momentary. You can hit both sides for strobe. And then this switch here at the bottom, you can flip it to each side. So basically this side is green laser only. In the middle, it's laser and light. And on the side, it's only light. May I? Sure. 
So again, as you said, user interface on the activation buttons on the body of the light are, are identical to what we've already gone, exactly. gone through. Yep. To get to your user interface, you can just pivot your, and of course, I've never handled this at this point. Literally, I just picked this up from the table. So you can either come down with the weak hand and flip the switch. Yep. Or, if you're still maintaining good, strong, rigid uh, position with the weak hand, you could come down with the weak hand finger and pivot that around as well. And uh, on the full production model that we're coming out with. Now, a quick question. I'm oh, sorry. God. I'm noticing you said there's three positions of this, but I seem to be getting four. That's a lockout. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So all the way to the left is lockout? Mm hmm. Yeah. So you see? So it's locked. Let me. Now it looks like I'm on laser. No. Now. Yeah, you're okay. locked out now. Okay, now I'm completely locked out of light and laser. Exactly. Coming down to just shy of straight down. We've got laser only. Mm -hmm. And straight down. Whoop. So straight down. Is you get laser. Laser and light. And light. And pivot it all the way to the right. Actually, at about uh, the well, from the shooter's position would be approximately the five o'clock position. We've got light only, exactly, and then pivoting all the way to the right or about three o'clock from the shooter's position, we're at lockout again. Exactly, so completely cranked around. It's in lockout on either direction. About five o'clock, light only. Middle, middle, straight down, light and laser. At about seven o'clock position, we've got laser only. Exactly. Now this has the uh, strobe feature as well. Absolutely. Okay. So um, if you're in the middle position here, where you have light and laser, you actually get strobe with laser. If you double tap on both sides. Exactly. Which I, I think I, is great. That's incorrect. Not double tap, but if you press or activate from both sides. Each yeah, each side at the same time. So you press both, and then you're there with light and laser, but you have the strobe, which is really great because. You want them to be disoriented, but you don't want yourself to be. So you can maintain focus on that laser because it's a green laser and your eyes can see it really well, but they're going to be disoriented because all they see is strobe in their face. Right. So it's it's really great. Okay, now kind of coming down to some more you know ground level issues, uh, on the current model, the PL1, what's the price point on this one? Uh, so this is $99.95 retail. So $100, 100 bills, US, USD. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. pretty good. I understand, you know, knowing that these are prototypes what uh, do you know what the anticipated or expected yeah so the uh, green laser working? version we've been blowing people away with this so uh, this is about 150 um, this will be about 150 and then the smaller version which, which was, is now disappeared which was just removed right uh, yeah, due yeah. to showing someone else that's okay. um, that'll be about 125 okay Very so good. they're all you know 150 or less down to a hundred um, and then real quick let me go over lumens uh, so this is 450 lumens the one that's uh, current right now. The big guy here is uh, the 1300 lumens. The laser light combo is 500 lumens. And then the small mini version, which isn't here anymore, is uh, 400 lumens as well. So the lowest you're going to get is 400 lumens from us. Um, we're known for just being really high on, on lumen scale compared to other businesses um, in this industry. So yeah, we're really excited about it. Very good. Anything else that you want to talk about? Uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, we got the big boys for this year, and then we have the uh, the, the new pistol lights. So as what well. do you have to tell me about the secret squirrel room where they're working on things for next year or the year after that? Oh gosh, um, we have a lot of tactical stuff coming out. Um, so tail cap switch stuff. Um, remote switches that work magnetically where you don't even have to screw them in so you can pop it off and just a ton of stuff um, in the tactical world because like i said in the beginning of the other video um, last year was focused on the smaller you know uh, edc type lights whereas we're getting into the more professional tactical type lights this year as well as the pistol lights so okay yeah well very good uh more on a, a, a less a less technical aspect. Uh, what's your favorite adult beverage? Uh, I've been having Moscow Mules lately. These are real you know? popular right yeah, now. Yeah, the uh, the vodka with the ginger beer. Yeah. A little bit of lime. Right. And you do, uh, now there's two configurations of serving. Apparently, you can get the the, the container that's either solid 
copper or that is uh, copper clad? Do you have a preference? The solid you... copper is great because the, the uh, cold and heat dispersion mm -hmm. is all over. Right. We make copper flashlights and the, uh, the heat dispersion is through the entire light. It's uniform. Exactly. So because of that, I mean, it's, it keeps the whole beverage colder for longer. You would think you would want to go with solid, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, so. what about cigars? Are you a cigar guy or no? Not really. Uh, we're yeah. gonna have to, we're gonna Sometimes have to... they're offered. Yeah. All right, uh, hopefully, I'll have one tonight, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, so you're not a you're not an anti cigar guy. No. Okay. So no, we don't not, have to, not, we don't have to put you through the special training regimen. Then. No. Okay. Good no. deal. Okay. Well, Sean, listen. It was an absolute pleasure. Yes. Thank you so much. You this take has been good great. care. Travel safe uh, out of Georgia, correct? Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Very good. We'll be talking to you soon. All right. Thanks a lot.